After assembly is complete, viral particles can exit the cell, a process also called budding. This journey is composed of multiple steps, starting with the maturation of proteins. Newly synthesized viral M proteins in the ER lumen need to undergo maturation in the form of glycosylation. This process requires addition of N-linked oligosaccharides. The precursor called glycan is synthesized in the ER membrane and bound to a lipid carrier protein. The glycan is cleaved from its carrier and transferred to its active site at the oligosaccharyl transferases malectin domain. At the same time, M proteins enter its active site on the same enzyme. OSC transferase catalyzes the cleavage of M protein at an asparagine residue as the oligosaccharide chain is only present at the N-terminus. N-linked glycosylated oligosaccharide can now exit the enzyme. Viral M-protein will undergo more folding and trimming of the glucose molecules on the oligosaccharide chain until one glucose is left on the chain. The dissociation of a special protein calnexin signals the end of the maturation process. The journey of the virus continues with the intracellular budding of virions into the ergic lumen. The mature spike proteins accumulate at the luminal side of the ergic membrane. Together with N proteins, viral RNA form viral ribonucleoprotein complexes, called VRNPs. These complexes can then associate with M protein on the cytosolic membrane. The accumulation of VRNPs is likely to contribute to the curvature of the membrane, initiating the budding of virions. The newly formed vesicles containing the virions can now bud from the ergic. These vesicles can exit the cell through exocytosis in the early stages of infection or burst with the cell membrane in later stages.